Welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Received a question recently on the channel asking about the quality difference of recording podcasts in Zoom versus recording podcasts uh, locally to your computer. The, the difference is pretty drastic. If you can record locally and then sync it up, or if you're just doing a solo show, I would recommend recording locally. If you're using Zoom to capture uh, the video because you want a video component, maybe syncing up a locally recorded track is going to be the better way to go, and I can show that in another video. But hands down, the quality of recording audio locally into something like Audacity, um, Audition, even Descript, which I'm using today to record, is going to be drastically better than using Zoom, though I am going to show you a few ways to make your audio sound better using Zoom, but that's also going to have a lot of variables. It's going to matter on your internet connection, it's going to matter on some of the settings that you choose, it's going to matter on your environment, so lots of variables at play, but we'll help bump up that audio quality just a little bit. Okay, first we're going to record into Audacity and then play it back here so you can hear a baseline of recording locally and what that sounds like. A few caveats. Number one, I'm recording this using Descript on my Windows machine using their video recorder feature or their screen recording feature. I feel that it compresses audio differently than if you recorded directly audio into Descript. I've opened up tickets with them before, support tickets. They say there's nothing really changing. I can hear a difference in audio quality. And I'm saying this because as I play this back, you're not going to hear the full um, quality of these audio files, but you should be able to hear the difference a little bit. And then on top of that, I'm turning this into a YouTube video. So there's going to be that second level of compression here. So take it for what it's worth. Um, but you should be able to hear some of the differences here. Okay, let's record locally. Microphone. An instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. Okay, so that's recording directly into uh, Audacity, and we will hit play. Microphone. An instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. Okay, so we're going to export this as a WAV file. That's going to be your highest level of um, quality. So we're going to say YouTube demo, save that. I'm just going to hit OK for now. And let's just minimize Audacity for a second. I'm going to go to the properties. So a few things is Zoom won't, won't record WAV files, or at least not in uh, the... I think it's the pro version. Maybe there's a, a higher tier where you can get wa unlock wave access. Uh, but from the local disk recording, it's not going to be on wave. And here's some of the details. So you can see right here that, uh, well, this bit rate is recording that it was recorded at 705 kilobits per second. And the audio file is 826 kilobytes in total for that. Um, that audio file. So a lot of data there for just reading the, the description of what a microphone is. Okay, let's open up Zoom. And we're just going to hop into a meeting. If you've never seen this before, you can just go into a new meeting in, in Zoom and hit record. And if you're using video and your microphone, uh, you can record your podcast this way. It's a very popular way to do it. Um, but again, there are the caveats for audio quality. So first things first, we're making sure that our microphone is the ATR USB. And it is. And we're going to go into... Um, the settings for a second here. So let's go into audio settings and I'm leaving everything default. Uh, I'm not going to adjust any of this stuff right at this moment and we'll go into the recording. One thing that you will want to do and it's not going to impact your audio quality but it will impact your maybe overall editing of a show where you want to make sure that this option is checked off if you have more than one person. Like you're recording with a guest or multiple guests. You want to record a separate audio file for each participant who speaks. That way, if you have to edit somebody else's track, maybe they have a dog barking, maybe they drop something on their desk and it's super loud, you don't want to have that all in one file because that would be really difficult to edit, if not impossible. So if you have individual audio files for each participant speaking, you can edit those tracks independently, right? If you're trying to really go that extra mile. Okay, let's go back to that audio for a second. One thing I will tell you to do, and I will use this as the baseline for the... Um, for the zoom test here is to make sure that the volume of your microphone is all the way up. You don't want it down. Sometimes it's at like 80%. 
and you don't want the automatically adjust microphone volume to be set. You want to make sure that you're getting at it at its loudest, clearest as possible. Sometimes with the automatic adjustment, it's trying to compensate for other noises that it's picking up. And yeah, while that sounds good from just like a normal meeting, if you're really trying to optimize your recording settings, you don't want that stuff set up. All right, we're going to re return back to the screen, but let's close this for a moment. And we're going to hit record. And we're going to record directly to the computer. Microphone, an instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. We're going to stop the recording, and the, the file won't be converted until we hit end on the meeting. So we're going to hit end, end for all. It's going to do its little conversion thing and pop up the audio only. And we are going to first take a look at the property. So 176, well, first of all, it's not a WAV file. It's an M4A. So that's already a compressed um, file format. There is, the, the file size is 176 kilobytes. So let's take a look again at the YouTube demo that we recorded using straight up Audacity. There is, what, six, seven times the amount, maybe not six or seven, maybe five, six times the amount of data stored in our locally recorded file than there is in the uh, the Zoom file. And what that really means is the more data, the more capable we're going to be to edit the audio in post-production. Like, you know, taking out the ums and the ahs, taking out background noise, compression, equalizer, all of that stuff. The more data we have, the better chance we're going to have to make that audio sound better. That doesn't necessarily mean we're going to make it perfect. It's not like we're going to make this USB mic sound like a $3,000 audio setup, but we'll be able to improve it more than we will this Zoom recording. Okay. Look at the details really quick. 127 kilobits per second on the bit rate. Okay. Versus when we record it locally, it says 705. Okay. We're going to close that and let's play this microphone, an instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. Okay, so you should have been able to hear a difference in that quality uh, from the original YouTube video. So let's we'll put all this. We'll stack all this stuff at the end. But first, let's go back to Zoom. And we're gonna say this is Zoom one. Put that there. Okay, now we're going to dive into a new meeting. And this time, we're going to go into our audio settings. And I couldn't find a way to shut off completely suppressing the background noise, which means that Zoom will be doing something um, to suppress the background noise. Again, which is great for meetings, but still you've got this layer of adjustments happening it's not a raw audio recording like in audacity audacity is not doing any background su noise suppression it's just recording you hit record and it just does its thing so i'm going to put it on low the other thing i'm going to switch this to i couldn't find too much of a difference when i did this but i'm going to turn on high fidelity music mode if you hover over the question mark it says optimize the zoom audio for the highest quality music uh it doesn't really say for spoken word but i can I can only imagine that it does add to uh, the quality there, or at least in my brain, I hope it does, right? Let's, I mean, we're adding high fidelity music mode. I'm going to go into advanced, and I'm going to put on um, signal processing by Windows. Again, if we hover over the question mark, auto allows Zoom to set the Windows signal processing mode for your device. On enables the drivers to provide a level of audio processing. Off puts the driver into a raw mode so that Zoom app can receive an unprocessed signal. Like, I don't want anything to happen when I speak words into this microphone and gets recorded by Zoom. So I'm going to turn it to off. And we'll go back. Just make sure I have this all set up the way I want to. Uh, I also shut off echo cancellation because I don't want it to do any other processing. I'm, I'm, if you're in a, a podcast recording, you should be wearing headphones. You shouldn't be hearing people uh, and having that echo happening. So I'm going to leave the echo cancellation off. And then lastly, 
what I'm going to do is turn on original sound. Original sound should also be unprocessed as well. So I'm trying to just throw everything at Zoom that I possibly can. Now, depending on your internet connection and your guest's internet connection, this could be a lot more bandwidth being used, a lot of the higher quality audio being passed around. This could also mean that the call dips and drops and it also can't keep up. So there might be a little bit of a lag or it could be that sort of pinging sound that happens when, when you're talking or there could be just more drops in, an, in a recording because Zoom isn't really set up to be a podcasting, a podcaster suite of audio recording tools. Uh, but we've got it at our highest level of quality right now and we're going to hit record microphone an instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations which may then be amplified transmitted or recorded and we're going to stop that end the meeting Audio recording. We're going to look at the properties on this one. This one still says 175 kilobytes. It's still an M4A file. Uh, if we take a look at the first zoom, it was 172 kilobytes. This one is 129 kilobits on that. This one is 127. So not far off from the file quality size. But when we play it back, microphone. An instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. So the quality should be a lot better when you hear that played back, and we're going to call this one Zoom 2. Drag this over here. And now we'll play all three of them back to back. First, we'll start with the locally recorded file, Microphone. An instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. Now I'll play the default zoom audio quality. Microphone. An instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. And then lastly, when we crank up all of the highest quality for zoom, we'll play that file. Microphone, an instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. So the audio quality should be pretty apparent. You might not be able to tell the difference between the locally recorded one and uh, the original audio enabled with all of the compressions turned off for Zoom on the Zoom 2 file. But the Zoom 1, the default one, the one that most of us just boot up Zoom and dive into, um, that one should, you should be able to hear a large difference in audio quality when you compare it to the other two files. Given all of the compression happening with my screen recorder, Descript, and YouTube compression, you should be able to listen closely and hear that. At the end of the day, if you can record locally using Audacity and sync up your video feed, if that's what you're doing, or if you don't mind stitching together your guest's uh, locally recorded track with your locally recorded track, uh, and you just simply want to use Zoom for that video communication, then that's what I would do. If not, I'd still lean to using something like a Squadcast uh, or a Zencaster to record your podcasts over the internet. Okay, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. If you let, if that was helpful, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.